Hello friends and welcome back to study tonight. In this video, we will talk about what is JSX in ReactJS. Yes, in the last two videos, I've covered how you can set up a basic ReactJS project and what are the basic things, what are, you know, the basic different code uh, statements that are used inside of index.html and the index.js and the app.js component file, which comes by default as part of the boilerplate code when you run the npx create react app command. So from this video, we'll start to explore JSX a little. As you can see on your screen, we already have our app.js ready over here. In this, we have already talked about what is returned from here. This is JSX code. So what the hell is this JSX code? Well, this stands for JavaScript XML. Yes. So this is something which is inspired from HTML in react.js which can be used to create the ui for the any react.js component so in this particular uh, app.js file we are talking about the app component which is the main component but we can have other components as well so whatever these components return these function components return that has to be a jsx code which is then transpiled into javascript code yes because this is written in the javascript.js file so obviously this is a javascript code so when you run npm start command to run this react.js application, this code will be transpiled into JavaScript code. Yes. So for every element that is being created internally, react will call this react dot create element function, right? So poor handwriting, I will write it again, create element. Yes. So just like, you know, we have a create element function in javascript we also have the same in react as well so whenever you return such a you know jsx code uh, internally react what will react do is react will create a div element uh, and then inside of it it will create another h1 element so that's how the basic user interface for any component is created and that is what javascript xml or jsx is all about so uh, it's a way to you know uh, it, it is inspired from html like i said before and inside HTML code along with, uh, you know, various elements that you create, you can also write the JavaScript code. So it will make your life super easy to, you know, sort of uh, write HTML and JavaScript together. So yeah, so that's all about JSX. Let me, you know, share a couple of very important things with you while we are talking about JSX. So as you can see over here, we are using a return and you are seeing that, okay, we have parenthesis also. So this is a parenthesis. So this is just to hold multi-line JSX code that we are returning. If you have, you know, a single line JSX code, you can simply, you know, remove this parenthesis and just write down the whatever code that you have. So let's do that and see. So for example, if I just have this one H1 heading, for example, let's see. So what I can do is I can just write this over here. And if I save this, this gets compiled and you can still see the output is the same. So let me just change it for you. So here, you know, it got updated to study tonight. So if there's a single line of JSX code that you have to return, you don't have to add parentheses, etc. But if you have to return multi-line code, then yes, you'll have to use parentheses and enclose your JSX code inside of it. Another very important thing to remember is that, so now I have a H1 tag over here. So uh, if I ask you to, you know, create another paragraph tag, what would you do? You will do like this. Okay, makes sense. But why is this, uh, you know, VS Code giving error? So if someone, you know, shows you this in an interview of React.js and asks you what would be the error, what will you do? You would be like, you know, no, this looks like this, uh, you know, correct code. If you cannot see this, you know, wiggly line wiggly red line below this you would be like okay yeah this makes sense but if you save this you will get this error what is this error so this error says and this is this is an error which you know almost every beginner would get so it says adjacent jsx element must be wrapped in an enclosing tag so what is happening is now whenever you write jsx code whenever you use a return statement uh, from a function react component uh, it always have to be, you know, uh, there always has to be a single uh, element that you return from, uh, you know, any functional component. So here, what we are doing is we are returning two uh, elements, which is one is H1 and one is P. On the other hand, if I do this div and I end div, 
now as you can see the error is gone because now what i'm doing is i'm returning a div tag and inside of that div tag there are other children tags as well right so in case of a functional component in react you can only return a single root element if you want to return multiple root elements react will give you error so if i do this again you know there are two root elements react has again started to give me error now this can be anything this can uh, this is a way to create a react fragment so let me introduce you to another concept so in react there are fragments so fragment is nothing but you know a smaller ui components just like a div container is used inside of html right so if you want to use a fragment instead of this div so if you don't want if for your you know a uh, user interface you don't want to enclose uh, or you don't want any div to enclose other children elements so what you can do is you can simply do this react dot fragment and same you can put over here so if you do this okay so we'll have to import react over here import react from react and now it is working fine so now we are using this fragment a uh, component which is a ready made component to you know uh, make our application work i can also simply write down this this should also work okay so now we need uh yeah so you can simply do this and you can import fragment directly from react as well so fragment is another module defined in the react library that we have imported or if you don't want to get into hassle of writing this react dot fragment or you know just fragment what you can do is you can simply have this so this is a basic simple style where you can have an open tag uh, just you know this and this and here also you know you can simply add whatever html or whatever jsx code you want to have to create your user interface you can include in that so this is another you know this is the second very useful thing so in jsx you should just understand okay this is nothing but more or less html code but it stands for javascript xml where you write you know html and javascript code side by side and this jsx code is transpiled into javascript code when the application is uh, run it uh, converts into react.create element and you know every is for example react.create element h1 react.create element p and so on you know other elements are created and you cannot have multiple root elements in the return statement so you can have a single root element so now we have a single root inside of which you know all other children html element or jsx elements are defined right now let's see how we can have javascript code inside of this you know jsx so let's just create a variable uh, let's say student uh, name and i'll put in my name abhishek and now that we have a variable created we can have javascript code inside of this jsx code using curly brackets so i can simply write like this and if i save it i see it welcome abhishek to study tonight application so this is how i can have my you know javascript code inside of my uh sort of html or you know my jsx code so you can use curly brackets to include any javascript expression that you want to include in your jsx code right so js code comes between curly brackets now one more thing that we can do in uh you know uh, jsx is that we can define variables so for example if i have this variable i can also define uh you know jsx code for variables as well so what i can do is i can have over here a uh, bold tag and then have abhishek inside of it so if you see this is automatically bold now so this is jsx code this is not a javascript string this is not a number right this is not an array this is how jsx code can be written and can be assigned to javascript variables as well inside of any functional component that you are creating and using the curly brackets you can easily print the value or execute the javascript expression in the jsx code cool right so let me just remove this and add one more student place and let's say guru gram so i've added one more variable with place and i can also add this over here like this uh hometown and i can have 
this. So as you can see over here, it comes hometown Gurukram. Over here, I can make it bold as well. So just like, you know, so more or less it works the same way like HTML works. Uh, there are a few things that are different, like, you know, the attribute that we provide in case of any HTML element are treated differently. In case of HTML, we used to use, you know, kebab form. Uh, when I say kebab form, it's like, you know, for example, if there is any uh, CSS and it says it's it's like this text decoration, for example. So in JSX, this will be in camel case form. So this will be like this text decoration because that's the standard syntax that JS follows, right? So this this becomes this, right? Uh, and similarly, you know, uh, the class attribute in HTML becomes class name in JSX because class is a reserved keyword in JavaScript. So we cannot use this over here. So it is class name, right? So there are some changes which we will explore as we move on in this particular uh, React JS course. But yeah, almost similar. If you guys know JavaScript, uh, a better way to do this would be to, you know, instead create a, a object student and, you know, simply have these values inside of that. So I can do this, right? Abhishek and I can have place. Run. So this is a much better way to represent data, which is in key value pair, right? So just like, you know, this uh, inside of this functional component, which is the main component right now, I can write any code. I can also add, write, you know, another function over here. If I want, you know, I can have a simple function, you know, hello world. And, you know, obviously, you know, this won't do anything for now because I'm not calling it just to show you guys. I can return hello world from here. So I can also have another function inside of the main component function. So let's just not, you know, rush uh, to uh, more advanced things. So let's move slowly. So here we I have a basic uh, JavaScript object. If I have to access it, what I'll do is I'll use the dot operator style. This is something that you should know if you know how objects in JavaScript are treated. Uh, place. So again, the output is same. Now I am, I have a better representation of my data structure. I have a object with all the information and I can simply use it. Right. And I can use it n number of times. Doesn't matter. Right. So this is more or less, you know, a basic introduction for JSX that I wanted to share with you guys in the next video. We'll talk about how we can create a basic, simple component. So we already have a main component, the root component app over here. We will understand how components can be created, how you can create more components, how you can, you know, use props to send in information to other components. And yes, we will create one component and then we'll have two components in our application and we will use both of them to create some good looking application, not just, you know, this. And after that, we will see how, you know, in JSX, we can write CSS code. So one way would be, you know, just to write CSS code inside of app.css. But if you want to, for example, use the style attribute, so how you can do that. So we will cover that as well. And then we'll move on to the other various concepts around React.js. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any confusion around what I have covered in this video, please uh, share in the comment section below. And I'll try to reply to all of the comments, although I don't receive much comments. But please, please do comment if you have any doubt or any questions. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever a new video comes up for this React.js course. And yeah, keep practicing. See you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching the video.